Okay guys, got some new news for you guys and it is pro clubs and other game modes in FIFA 15. So finally they've, I think they've kind of slowed down on the ultimate team news. They just released career mode news so if you want to check out that on my channel, it's been uploaded very recently. But now it's about pro clubs, a feature that I think has so much potential but they really haven't worked hard enough, hard enough on it in the last few years. It feels like there's just something missing from pro clubs. If they get it right in the next few games, it could be... And I mean this lightly, but it could be the new game mode that everyone wants to play. Because Ultimate Team is great, don't get me wrong, but how much more can they do with it? Whereas Pro Clubs, it could get huge. You could almost have an element of Ultimate Team in Pro Clubs. And uh, I think that they're doing some great movements in this year's game. So let's go through some of the news right now. So um, enjoy improved customization options for your club and Pro and a simplified flow into matches. So the beauty of this new system is instead of waiting for your team to finish their game and come and get you, you'll be able to queue up in the, in the menus and when they join their next game, you'll be chucked straight into it. So if, if, though, if you're one of those guys who constantly turns up late to your, your pro matches, you can just join a match and wait for them to finish their current one and you'll be dragged in. Also, there'll be more customization options like I just read there. You'll be able to change much more about your pro, such as the way you take free kicks. Um, obviously, things return like your boots and things like that, which I think is invaluable to pro clubs. One of the best things about it is having your own player and being able to customize more options will make it, you know, feel more like your own player. The next bit here is play an all new round base flow automatically pulls teammates from the end of the last match into a countdown to the next game search, keeping positions and captaincy Queuing users in the match lobby can watch scores and live updates as they wait and will automatically be pulled into the match with their teammates. So I've already, I've already gone through that. Let's go to the next bit here. Scouts. So basically guys, you'll be able to scout players now instead of asking people to join just because you know them or people asking to join your club because they like the look of it. Instead, you're going to be able to actively scout for players that suit your club's needs. So let's read this. Find teammates that suit your club's needs by scouting virtual pros from leaderboards and club squads. Basically, I'm guessing you'll see how many goals they've scored, how many man of the match um, rewards they've got and things like that. You can view other pros, accomplishment progress and statistics in an easy to read user hub and invite them to join your club. So if you're one of those guys who really wants to make a massive club, so whenever you're going to play pro clubs, you've already got some people online. Now is the time to do this easily because people will be able to search for you and you will be able to search for them much more quickly and efficiently. Here we have a very nice screenshot actually, it looks really nice all this stuff. Uh, customize the new Edit Pro menu option style. Allows fans to customize penalty and free kick animations as well as choose their running and finishing celebrations. Pretty cool that. Celebration animation examples are also now visible in the menu. So instead of just buying a celebration and reading what it's called, you're actually going to be able to see it in action first which is massive, absolutely massive. And tournament mode and guest play has been confirmed, it was removed for the next gen version of FIFA 14. I, I was one of the people to really be pissed off at this and actually have a go at EA Sports because they removed it from the FIFA 14 old gen version. And I thought, why would you remove something when you're going to next gen which has more power? And then I thought, well, the World Cup's coming up, surely they're gonna release some sort of DLC and have tournament mode and guest play and that. But it turns out they didn't. I don't. I still don't know why they removed it, but they have confirmed it's gonna be back into FIFA 15 which is huge news for those who go around to their friend's house after school and want to play a tournament tournament node mode sorry is now back in the game and also guest play as well so fantastic news I'm really 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 happy that they've decided to include that in this game but still a little bit angry that they even removed it I mean what was the point in that they've just put it back in I'm guessing there was something else you know to stop them from uh, keeping it in the next gen version but either way it's back in now guys pro clubs is looking like it's on the up it's still not quite there, there's still room for more, but I'm sure in the next few FIFAs they will be improving it massively because I'm sure they know how much potential it's got. We all do, we just need to tell them, so feel free to tweet them, tell them any ideas you've got for pro clubs, because obviously as soon as FIFA 15's out, they'll start planning FIFA, fi FIFA, ugh, FIFA 16, sorry. God, that's a weird one, isn't it? FIFA 16, that's going to be a weird one when it comes out. FIFA 15 is the new one in my head right now. But thank you for watching guys, if you're enjoying these news videos please do leave a like rating and tell me and uh, if you haven't subscribed already and you don't want to miss any more of these videos then all you got to do is hit that subscribe button. I will see you in the next video.